This super creepy guy posted an ad on Craigslist saying he would play folk music buck naked for parties of young women. I called him up as Book Lau, the head of a sorority, to see if he'd be willing to perform for our kinky party. It turns out this guy was down for absolutely anything, and he was weirder than I could have ever imagined. Check it out. Hello? I see your advertisement about the dancing for the folk music, right? Dancing? This is Onaji, I sent you the email about it. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, we have a sorority here for the Kappa Kappa Gamma. What do you, what do you have there as a sorority? Is this the house you're talking about? Uh, yeah, it's a hair over there, so I wanted to see kind of like, you know, we're gonna have some music, dancing, people are gonna be drinking, kind of hanging out, having a good time, conversating, that kind of thing. How many women would be there, do you think? Uh, probably like a 50, 50, 50 pint, something like that. 50 women? And let me tell you, there are some beautiful college girls, you know, so it's not gonna be, it's gonna be quite nice, you know, a lot of, lot of eye candy, that kind of thing. So what do the women want to do? They just want me to strip or they want to kiss me or, or what? Yeah, yeah, they, they want to strip, they kind of play around with you a little bit, you know, uh, you, while you're singing, you're gonna be rocking out with your cock out, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can play. They can play with me if they want to. Okay, but do you have yeah. like a Viagra Matisse or the Sierra Matisse, uh, so that, that way it can stay hot? Yeah, I can bring something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just because I, 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 otherwise we have a, we have like a pharmacy here. You know, we have all sort of medication. So, okay, I just want you to be hard for the ten hour. You know, we ha we need we need like a, like a big stick, right? Yeah, I'm like ten inches, so that would be good. Oh, okay, great. That's yeah. gonna be. I, I, we actually have some horseshoes here too, so we might play with it. Mm, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah, a, so a silicone horseshoe, right? Throw it on your penis. You understand? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, but you're so not you're you not like a crazy party? you're not like a crazy right? Because I can't have like a crazy like psycho killing rapist or something coming to the hell, you know? So no, like, no, 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 <laughs> uh, not me. So, so you do you party at all? Or you just supervise this? Or no, what? no, I'm I'm gonna party too, man. I'm gonna get down. I'm gonna suck so much dick that night. That's gonna be great. Oh, good, good, yeah, good. Uh, yeah. All right, yeah, all right. Uh, well, we'd love to kind of see what kind of things you're open to. I'm down to pay extra. Like, we just have some really crazy girls. Again, it's going to be a lot of really, really hot girls, that kind of thing. Like, one lady, mm -hmm. she, she'd love a watermelon, you know? So maybe it would be great if I can cut a hole in it and then you can put your penis inside, you know? So these girls, they like to, they, these girls like to uh, suck or jerk me off or Yeah, whatever. yeah, for sure. And second, yeah. honestly, you should be paying me for this. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, it'd be good. Yeah. yeah. So, uh... Okay, right. great. Mark. Okay, my friend, I will be in touch with you. Just keep an eye out for my phone call, but thank you so much for the time. And uh, okay. take care of yourself and that ding dong, okay? Okay, I'll see you. Bye. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Dude, that shit was the fucking weirdest phone call. I didn't even know where to, like... <laughs> <laughs> he ended up emailing me a bunch of super creepy naked pictures of himself. I called him up a couple days later as Tyrone, another performer at this sorority party who he'd be dancing with. Hello? Uh, yeah, this is Tyrone. Uh, I, I was told that you was gonna be the other performer going to the uh, sorority party. Oh, yeah. Right. W when can we meet up to, like, plan the choreography? Yeah. Well, um, oh, you mean ahead of time? Yeah, yeah, because, uh, like, we got, like, costumes, we got to coordinate, that kind of thing. What, what do you mean? What kind of costumes? You shouldn't well, tell me anything about that. Oh, well, like, just, like, little playful stuff. Like, I got a few different, like, socks and stuff like that, like some Hanes, some Puma. I got some dress socks. Mm -hmm. At some point, we're going to be dressing up like a cowboy. Other time, we're just going to be putting socks around our dicks and clockwise twirling that bitch. You know, we could, yeah, she told me about something about a watermelon and other stuff. Oh, but yeah. She was talking so fast. I did not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right, dog. Hey, yo, like like three weeks ago, she got me a, a mini watermelon. I was able to put half my penis up in there. Uh, so then I, I uh -huh. think I, I think this time they're going to get them jumbo bitches from like Costco or something like that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So you put your dick in the watermelon for what? What happens? Because I, I never did that. Oh, no. Well, like, then it kind of like hangs out. Then you try to like keep it like elevated like, like a motherfucking pendulum. And like they just get real kick mm -hmm. out of it. And then they, after you pull your Stop. dick out... After you pull your dick out, they pour in some Ciroc up in there, bitch, and start slurping. So it's like a drink. Uh huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty pretty wild. Yeah, yeah man. Like pretty them. Wild. The, like these, I'm telling you, dog. Like these these Asian girls, they get down, dog. Like you know. Yeah. Like like everybody yeah, everybody get every everybody gets in there with a straw. You know what I'm saying? Like slurp slurp. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she said something about a back room too, maybe. But it's 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 more like a like a dungeon than, than a back room. I guess they give you tips back there too. Though. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you like whips? You you like whips? 
Yeah, well, whips are okay. You know, okay. yeah. Just like wh whips and chains, that kind of thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. When the girls whip you? They, they like to chain you up and, and like kind of just point at your dick and then be like, oh my God, look at your penis. <laughs> and they laugh at your mm -hmm. ass. Oh, okay. <laughs> she said uh, she has a pharmacy there too for all kinds of pills. Oh, yeah, yeah. They got all sorts of stuff, man. So like they got uh, like they got Viagra's, they got Cialis, they got painkillers up in there, bitch. They got Tylenol, mm. they got Zycam. Wow. They, they got allergy pills in case you're feeling real sniffly. Do they smoke uh, grass too? Uh, or yeah, the, uh, they, they smoke a little bit, right? Like, yeah, like, and like that. Them little Asian girls, man, they take one little hit, man. They getting some motherfucking secondhand smoke and still fucking giggling all over the place. So, well, that sounds like a cool place, then. I guess uh, up and they have uh, fifty. You're saying probably forty or fifty women there, so I should be able to make some money. Yeah, nah, for sure, man. So it's gonna be great. So like I said, like, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of figure out the next steps. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and call her up now. Kind of line up the plane and follow up with you, all right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You just tell me, give me the address and and the time, and you know, I'll, I'll meet you there. You know what I mean? All right, brother. Bye, bye. Totals. All right, bye, bye. What a fucking weird specimen! Oh my god, I couldn't end the prank. I had to leave it open ended in case I call him back. Oh my god, dude this guy as you can see he was so down for anything that it almost felt impossible to weird him out i decided it was time to blow his buzz by doing this hello yeah hey this is russell i'm actually an investigator with nyu um we had quite a, a weird uh issue here on campus lately and we think you may have been a victim of it um i wanted to quickly just ask you uh, get you on the phone and see if you've gotten any weird phone calls from any students on campus lately you're an investigator for NYU? Yeah, we recently busted a sex trafficking ring here on campus and included a, lar a uh -huh. large amount of men who were catfished on Craigslist to come to a certain event and, and come perform or come participate in a party of some sort. Um, and then they ended up mm -hmm. being held captive and, and a whole slew of other things. So there, were, there was a dungeon here in their makeshift basement. It was quite, it was quite a, a scary ordeal. Were you possibly you know, hit up by any of these uh, individuals? No, I wasn't. I just got a you know wrong number. But I mean, you know, what? what so what happened? What do you mean? You, the the NYU found out about it or something? Yeah, no. Okay. The, the, basically, there were some people held captive. Like I said, there was a dungeon in the basement, and there were men locked in cages. It was it was very barbaric. It was very strange. Um, and the the, call, the calls were traced to one student here. Her name is Onaji. Um, it's an Asian American student. You know, we had men here captive mm -hmm. for for several weeks. So that's extremely frightening. Uh -huh. You understand? Well, that's weird. No, well, good luck to you, whatever you're looking for. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I can't help you. I, I just wanted to make sure because you think you got maybe a, a wrong number call because we did subpoena the phone records and we saw that there was a 25-minute mm -hmm. conversation with, with this number. Yeah, well, I don't remember unless I left it off the hook. Um, I, I don't know what happened. I, I just don't want you to be the one ending up on a hook, if, if you know what I'm saying. So, you know, w were you, did you remember at all what the context of that conversation might have been? No, I just, you know, somebody was looking for George, and uh, I said, you know, he's not here. I got you. So for 25 minutes, you might have talked about George? No, I don't know. I wasn't on the phone that long. Um, oh, you gotcha. know, I just, okay. I don't know how that happened. L let me go ahead and just put some notes here on your files to say that this was a mistake. You weren't contacted, just so they don't, they don't bother you again, hopefully. And then, but I do appreciate you letting me know. I was just, again, I'm, I'm just looking out for you here. I hope you understand why I'm calling. I'm not calling. Like, you're not in any trouble. You didn't do anything wrong, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to, you know, make sure you're safe. Everything's okay. You understand? Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay, all right, take care. Bye-bye. I called him back the next day to see if he was still down to come to the party after what he'd heard from Detective Russell Johnson. Here's what happened. Hello? Yeah, man, what's up? It's me. Are you excited for tonight? Yeah, well, um, some guy called. He said that uh, he was investigating you and, and the place because he said you put the guys in dungeons or jails or something there in the dungeon, and, and he said it's a... You know, a big scam. Uh, no, 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 no. It's like a what do they say? It's like a B BSM, right? Like they said a BDSM, right? Like a BDSM, right? I don't know how he got your phone number, but he knew that I talked to you on the phone for 25 minutes. He had my phone number, and I said I don't know anything. It must have been a wrong number. And he said, Well, why were you on the phone for 25 minutes? And I said, I don't know. I guess I didn't hang up the phone. But, um, Sir, we've been you know, tapping the person. line. We have a full recording of the conversation. When I asked you, you explicitly mm -hmm. told me that you did not know who was calling and it was a wrong number for 25 minutes. You know, can we get to the bottom of this right. and just like w what's happening here? Right. Well, I want to talk to the woman. 
Yeah, well, well uh, who the fuck is that? Who do you put on the telephone? Uh, listen, ma'am, I'm, I'm, yeah. just just get get off the phone. I'll go ahead and handle the rest of this. What do you mean get off the telephone? Like this is my conversation. Uh, s sir. Uh <laughs> Thank you for watching, everybody. Wasn't that shit crazy? Nothing face that guy. Smash that like button down below if you very enjoy. A special thanks to all of y'all who heard this first on the live stream. Make sure you hit that bell notification when you subscribe. It's the only way to catch our surprise live shows. We'll see you subscribers again next week.